What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. While we are enjoying all the brand new features of One UI 7, we are getting to see some glimpses of the brand new One UI 8. An X user, that Josh guy on X, has leaked some information about the brand new internet application which will be available on the One UI 8. And that is what we're gonna take a look at in today's video. But before we do that, if you wanna stay updated with everything that is happening with your phone, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and uh, do check out the Volvo's wallpaper application. I've just added about 10 new wallpapers today. Uh, these are all rain themed dark wallpapers which look beautiful on your home screen. If you love those dark AMOLED wallpapers, then you are gonna love them. So go ahead, download link is in the description. You can download Volvo's application. Do not forget to leave a rating for it on the Play Store. Now let's dive right into the video. First, I will tell you how to enable this brand new UI on your existing application, existing internet application. You don't really have to download any APK or you don't have to sideload any application. All you need to do is just use your existing internet browser, the Samsung internet browser on your One UI 7. And really thanks to that Josh guy on X for sharing these steps for everyone to experience this. Now let me show you how exactly to enable this. All you need to do is first open the internet application, which is Samsung internet. And then you need to tap on the search bar here and type internet colon and then forward slash and type debug and tap on go. Now you will see this page and then all you need to do is just tap on this uh, hamburger menu here, tap on settings and scroll all the way down. You will see debug settings. Tap on debug settings and this is where you will see main view settings. Tap on that and here we go. We have got enable new GUI option. Just tap on enable this and then close the internet browser. Let's close this. Now let's open the internet again. As you can see, we have got this pop-up here which says try Samsung internet's new style. We have updated the homepage, tab sorter and menus to make them fun, fresh and easier to use. If you are not a fan, you can always switch back to the old style in settings. So if you want to get back to the older version, we have an option to do that, but why would you do that? We have got a brand new version now. The brand new Samsung internet from One UI 8 is now available on One UI 7 to experience. Now let's go ahead, let's try the new style here. I'll tap on done. Now what I'll do is I will switch to the light theme uh, in the light theme, I think these menu options, the brand new uh, layout will be more pronounced. Now let me bring the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra on which we are going to open the uh, current version of uh, Samsung internet application. Let's see, let's compare this with the One UI 8's internet app and uh, see what has changed. Now let me tap on the hamburger menu here. As you can see the menu options, the layout itself is looking a bit more modern here. On the previous version, we had this plain layout where we had all the options sitting here. And now we've got a slightly darker background on which we have got these buttons here. We've got desktop option, history, saved pages, etc. And this has got the shadow here, as you can see, which looks pretty cool. And then comes this background, which is a lighter background on which we have got the rest of the options. We can swipe towards the right while keeping all these buttons right here without moving them. So we got this uh, layout which can be swiped towards the right or left to uh, check out the rest of the options. And these items will remain stagnant. It will not move. So which is pretty cool. I think we'll be able to customize this as well. So that's the new layout. Now let's go to these settings. Let's check out if there is any new options here. Uh, we've got browsing assist, drawing assist, home page access, quick access. Let me select this. Here we have got quick access. Let me tap on the settings here. Edit shortcuts, add shortcuts from other devices. We've got news feeds here and we've got most viewed. Let me select none here. Let's see what happens. Look at this. We have got this brand new homepage here, which is quite different from the one that we have got on the One UI 7's homepage. And I've got this beautiful looking background and we got all these icons which are smaller in size and right there at the center. And we have got the search or enter URL tab right here. And it says protected you from uh, 2888 tracking attempts this week. Here also we have got the same information, but the search bar is right here at the bottom, whereas this looks more clean, simple, and very, very elegant. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, tabs here looks almost similar, but yeah, the transparency is slightly different here I would say and let's tap on the three dot button here We've got similar frosted glass background, but it actually looks slightly better here on this Maybe because of background or maybe the transparency has been improved on this frosted glass effect that we have here Now let's go to the new tab here 
when we go to the new tab you are going to see this page here and right here we have got this edit button which will take us to home page settings whereas on the newer version you can see the edit button it doesn't say edit but it shows this particular icon i can tap on this and we have got this now let's go to the most visited pages let's see how it looks the home page looks the same but when you scroll up you can see again we have got this frosted glass effect in the background on which all these uh, websites are showing up which actually looks pretty cool uh, whereas the previous version looks quite boring here as you can see and this is the current version I'm actually in love with how the way it looks and I hope Samsung incorporates similar effects on more or less all the applications the system applications the settings and everything it is going to look just beautiful the reason is we have got this frosted glass effect and we also have that shadow effect right below that frosted glass layout which looks fantastic now let's go back to the settings here let's see if we can find something new let's go to layouts and menus and let's tap on customize menus now as you can see this is how we can customize it we have got these static buttons here on the top and we can have multiple pages of icons here which can be edited as you can see I can add more to this and to this I don't think I will be able to add more let's try let me press and hold on this and drag it here no, on the static page we can't add more but I'll be able to add it for the second uh, the uh, option below where we have got these pages which can be swiped. That's pretty cool. Now let me just reset this and let's go back. Let's enable all these buttons and let's see how it's going to look. I have enabled uh, the show tab bar. I have enabled show bookmarks bar, show menu bars while scrolling everything. Let's go back here and let's see how it looks. Here we go. Again we have got this frosted glass effect here on the background and we have got all these pages here we have got similar layout here as well but the transparency uh, level is kind of cool on the brand new version and you can see a small change here we've got plus button here to add bookmarks here I already have few bookmarks maybe that is the reason it is not showing me a plus button I'll have to tap on this arrow button to add to bookmarks bar and edit bookmarks bar so that is something which is on the newer version now let me go back here and disable these options because I don't want to keep all of them let's go to settings layouts and menus I'll disable all of them here layouts and menus disable this let's check the security and privacy option it looks the same and we have got personal browsing data notifications sites and downloads no changes here so that is the brand new Samsung internet application which will be coming on One UI 8 and uh, this may be just a glimpse of it maybe there will be more changes more new features getting added on the new internet version let's wait and see that I'll keep you guys posted about everything that is happening with One UI so be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you want to try this new internet application from One UI 8 it's very easy to try it as I mentioned in the beginning of the video so go ahead check it out that's all I have here in this video thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye